How are you guys doing? Bright, beautiful, sunny day here at Ohio Fish Rescue. So today we are working on shutting down this 2,000 gallon aquarium. We've been fighting the algae with it. You know we got the tarp up, but there's some fish left in here. Let's go take a look. But we will be moving these guys into the outdoor pond for the season. So there is a bunch of koi left in here. We will be draining this tank and basically shutting it down for the rest of the winter. So in here we have a bunch of boat butterfly koi. There is some regular koi. These are all ones that were picked out that we, we liked and wanted to keep in the, the backyard pond. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut these filters off so we can actually see. I'm actually gonna drain some of this water and we're gonna put the rest of these koi in uh, the, the back pond today. And I will show you guys as we go along which koi are going in and exactly how many. Cause I think there's probably like 25 in here, but there's some with some really awesome coloring. All right, so while we have this draining, you see there's two FX6s and FX4. We've got this uh, over tank sump. We've got this little filter box here, and then this Ultima 2 10,000. All of these have to go inside, because if not, they will meet something like this guy over here and be forgotten about, and then all the bacteria will die in the filtration, and we don't want that. So this tub, this overhead sump that's actually going to be washed before it's brought in and all these uh, canister filters are going to go inside the fish room and just add to the filtration in there but this Ultima 2 10,000 I'm thinking is going to go onto the, uh, the, the back pond to help with that until the wetland filter is fully taken over and or we get the second wetland in so while, while this drains we are going to wait and move some of this filtration, wait on the koi until the water's down to about a foot so it makes our job easier. So we will get right back with you in just a minute. Okay, so here is trip one. As you can see, this brown and, or orange and white butt butterfly koi. You're gonna see a lot of butterfly koi out of this batch along with a orange and white butterfly koi there. Here's a kind of a pinkish hue with black and blue spots on them. Another beautiful butterfly koi. We've got this little butterfly koi with blue all on his back. Oh my goodness. And we've got white guy here and then this whatever you want want to call him. He's got some real nice coloring to him. But there's seven koi here and we're going to go and get these guys acclimating and started on the back pond. So here we are back at the pond. You can see the water is obviously clearing up as you can see to the bottom of the first shelf. The mud is starting to, you know, die out. And of course the, the dye is dying out. It's not, you know, deep blue. It's now a, a light green. So give it just a little bit more time and this color will be out of here. But we have these koi acclimating right now. I just took a airline hose from our filter and now it's draining down. They are the same temperature and I know the water in this pond is probably better but I still want, want to acclimate them. So as these guys are acclimating I'm gonna go ahead and grab a second tub, go up and grab some more koi. By the time I get them caught out and back here this tub should be done. So let's get to it. Okay this trip is a bit dense but you can see we've got some big kois and some little kois in here. All different kinds. There's a bunch of beautiful butterflies. I will show you these guys as I release them. I'm going to go ahead and carry these around back. Because you can't really see through all this. Uh, when you pick up a koi, they kind of slime up a little bit. So this water's a bit thick right now. So we're going to get them acclimating into their new pond. Alright, you can see all the way around the pond. The liner is now cut. There are a few spots I'll have to trim up, maybe fold it behind. But like I said, it's uh, warmer out here, so we're getting what we can done. So while these fish acclimate, that's what we're do doing now. I think that's pretty much it for uh, 
what we can do right now because we don't really know what we're doing up here yet so we don't want to cut it too far in and then change plans come springtime so now the liners cut back far enough the lands exposed now these fish are acclimating and I think it's time we go ahead and put some of these babies in so here we go oh almost got a two for one there there we go Come on, buddy. Look at him go. You, you can see where they stir up, there's just clouds and clouds of dirt. Which we're not probably gonna clear that up until springtime now with all this leaves and dirt in here from the winter. And we still don't even have our second skimmer on yet. We're still waiting on that. There we go. Be free, little buddy. Oh, he's a nice one. That guy's swimming down to the deeps, and he's gone. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab this butterfly. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful koi. Now, you, you, you can see that the water is getting clear. You can see more of the coloring on the koi. You can see the koi. He's probably about, about a foot down on that second shelf, and then he disappears. There we go. So there are a lot, lot of koi in here. You come out here early morning, you'll see him sitting on the, uh, the small shelf up top. There we go. Did I miss him? Oh, I missed him. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Little guy right there. And here we go. Oh, there's a two for one. Come on, buddy. There we go. Look at that guy. Pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna get this second tub acclimating and I'll show you as they go in the pond. Okay, you guys seen the last tub go in, there was seven. I think there's uh, 17 in this tub. We'll count them as they go in. And then there's another like 10 or so in this tub here. So I'm gonna get these guys acclimating. I'm gonna release these guys. And this will be the last bit of koi that go in this pond. You've seen how many have been put in here and it still looks like there's nothing in here. So these guys are all sitting on the bottom of the the, the deep section and they're not coming up you might come out here in the morning and you'll see like one or two sometimes throughout the day you'll see them surfing the outside but they're still getting used to their new home all right, all right so we're gonna start releasing these guys from this tub into the pond get some of the big guys first there's a beautiful platinum butterfly koi come on This is one guy we just uh, released right before you seen on camera. Had a little issue with recording, but all fixed now. So let's get the rest of these guys in the pond. Here's four more. That's eight total so far. This guy right here is probably one of my favorites. You can see he's got that metallic orange on the head and then his little pattern on his head. Just a neat little guy. And then this guy right here, he's a beauty. He's one, one that I've picked out and kept. But in your new home you go. Well, that's 10 right there. There's two more. This is another butterfly and a goitsu. Okay. There's two more. We've got a big near scale and then a calico. Awesome butterfly. There we go. That's 13. 
This is another blue and black koi. You can see his back is all blue. What knot number is that? 14, I 14, think. 14, 13. This guy has a rust color to him. He's pretty neat. Fifteen. Here is oh, sixteen. Another little butterfly. Don't think there's nothing left in here. Nope. So now we just got our let less tub. We're gonna finish letting these guys acclimate, and then we'll get them into the pond as well. Looking down from the deck, you can see a little bit more of the pond. But you see in that tub where the water's going in, how active these little koi are. But we're just getting ready to dump these fish in, and then that'll be the last of it for the season. This time, I mean it, guys. The last koi for the season. We got blessed with some above 70 degree weather. You can see all the tr uh, leaves are off the trees, and everything's dying off. So we didn't really expect this, but we got it, so we're doing it. Okay, so we have these last eight koi. There's a little bit of variety in here, a couple blues. There's a butterfly there and a butterfly here. Told you guys there'd be a common theme, mostly butterfly. There's another butterfly down there. So there's actually four. There's another butterfly there. So four of these eight koi are butterfly koi. So we're gonna go ahead and release these guys into the pond. And now we can continue working on breaking down the 2,000 gallon aquarium for the winter. And just like that, these guys are in. See some small ones there. You got four over there. They are schooling together. And they are diving down to the deep water. I imagine because it is much warmer down there. And that's where they like to lay. And that was very anticlimactic. So, uh... I'm curious to see how this pond's going to look in the springtime, as I can imagine. So are all of you. So let's go finish breaking down this 2000 and get back to work. Okay, so you see we've got the FX filters out already. This tank is draining. I'm working on draining this uh, Ultima filter. I've still got to take these guys off of here. But the tank is pretty well drained. This is pretty much where she'll sit. We're going to finish draining the rest of the water we can out of that corner. That is the lowest point. But it's a sad, sad day for Ohio Fish Rescue when you lose 2,000 gallons of water. But she will be back in the springtime. So this is basically our outdoor koi tank that we basically have all the fish that come in and quarantine. It can be underneath a tarp. And uh, so we don't have to really deal with the algae and these guys have a pretty large tank to quarantine in and either we, we rehome them or they can go to the pond out back or if they're goldfish or shabunkin can go to the pond up front. But our plan is we have some blue nursery ponds we were going to line up against this back wall here and may, maybe have one for goldfish or shabunkin so we can sort them out that way and have different species of fish and just have this as you know a seasonal outdoor tank but who knows there are some people who have been wanting at this tank we, we we might sell it and build something bigger here who knows but not nonetheless this is our 2000 it is empty right now it's 16 by 4 by 4 so we are shutting this baby down for the rest of the season so now we're gonna finish taking the rest of this filtration right inside and hooking it back up onto the rest of the tanks okay so like the last video of course i'm gonna clean these filters before i take them inside so i don't gotta do it for a while as you can see being on a koi tank they do get pretty nasty dirty there is some sand in this one but lots of just decaying mat matter and fish poop so we're going to clean these guys and take them inside okay sad sad moment but we got all the filters off now I just got to get these last four sponge filters and this Ultima around back and hooked back up inside. We went ahead and cleaned the rest of the filters before we moved them in. All the canisters are cleaned. I put one of the filters up on this 2200 to get a little extra filtration on here. That was that big green box. We put the FX4 back on this 110 
Now uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna take some of these, move them to other tanks, and bring them filters and put them back on here. So uh, maybe the cichlid tank and or the frontosa tank and maybe the bass tank out there get a little bit more filtration. If not, it'll just go on to the 4000 because you can never have too much filtration. Look at that. We got the lights back going because we had a blowout in lights today. So we got to get things back going. But I told you guys in the last video, this is just the, the next day, how much cleaner this water is. Plus we're adding more filtration back on and cleaning more filters so it's gonna be looking awesome now we're taking the excess gravel from the uh the pond build we're gonna set it out back temporarily out the way so we can gain our driveway back so we can back a car back up to the uh the, the door to the fish room there but we don't know what we're doing with this gravel yet so we're just gonna set it out the way until we figure out what we're doing with it Last video, yeah, but they won't. all right so the pile is now gone. I will show you where we put it out back for the time being. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess here and then we can get on to some more work throughout the day. Okay, so walking in the backyard, I went ahead and put this pile here. As you guys know, this is leftover for, from the pond build. If we need to use any of it, we can, like around the liners or whatnot. But this is mostly, uh, pre-stock for next year's wetland filter when we get around to building it so I just wanted to set it out the way and uh, now we got to work on getting that Ultima filter back here and hooked up onto this pond so it'll have some extra mechanical and biological filtration for this so we will get that done and I'll show you guys after we start carrying it we got what will start here so we'll probably get some behind the scenes stuff so, good, good times. Okay, so I got my filter hooked up onto the pond. I got my pump over into this back corner where the jets are supposed to be. Now we've got this god awful ugly contraption here. Now what is this? Since we moved the filter, we dislodged a lot of dirt, so I'm gonna go ahead and backwash this. I didn't want to put it over all here, so I ran it all the way back there so we can shoot the water out back there. So we're going to backwash this. Once it goes clear, we can then put it to filter in the pond. Okay, check this out. Now we've got another, uh, what is that, a 2,500 gallon per hour pump feeding the waterfall. So you see a little bit more flow coming through the waterfall here. I placed them two stones there to help direct flow and now it spread the flow of the waterfall out even more and it looks even better. So now up here we have this Ultimate 10,000. And it is coming in, oh, watch yourself. We have now the out, output or the input sucking in from that corner and the output coming up here. So it's getting more mechanical and more bio for the pond. So way, way more than it needs. So this should be just fine for the koi over the, the winter. I will, however, put a bag or something over this to protect this over the winter. So these seals and all this stuff doesn't get rusty. And then who knows, maybe come springtime, we'll actually bury it in that back corner and run a pipe out the back and have it as an extra filter on the back side of the waterfall that we build right here, running off of these jets right there. I think that would be pretty awesome. But nonetheless, I think we are pretty much done for the day. Okay, I just wanted to come out the next morning, show you guys how everything's working. You can see no leaves in this corner, no leaves in that corner. Everything's trailing basically towards that skimmer. So the, the way we thought it was going to happen, it is working. Would you imagine that? This filter is uh, working pretty great. But oh, look at that. What is that? You see koi in the pond over there. There's actually a bunch of them. They are playing in the jets. So let's go ahead and walk down there and see what we can find. This is pretty awesome. I'm gonna try not to spook them because they're not used to being in this pond and people being over here. Look at that. There's like 20 of them right there. Bunch of beautiful koi, look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't know how well you guys can see this on vid video, but I can see it pretty well here with the sunlight shining through. They are a little bit ways under the water, but there is a bunch of koi right there. Wow, oh my god. 
the bunch out there in in the middle this pond is starting to look great you can see this blue hose that's about you know two foot deep right there there we go okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let everything clean up around here this is uh getting to be the last warm days of the season i actually don't have no work planned for, for today so hope you guys enjoyed this vi video it's what we have to do to prep for winter almost every season around here so i hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of insight into what we do around here if you guys want to see more amazing content with the ohio fish rescue be sure to hit that subscribe button and as always stay fishy my friends